Hello student once again, this is Mr. Ngubo again from ITB campus. Now I'm going to take you through, uh, I think that word was missing, it's supposed to be human resource, maybe we can just change it, human resource management and six, this is my lesson number three, we covered the first two lessons, which is human resource introduction, farming management, where we dealt with human resource under module uh, under aspect number one we also look at the management itself and leadership we also covered our lesson two uh, which is agricultural farming the types of uh, farming we also look at management and leadership in farming how they are using that particular word where we said they are using both of them but they are have to differ with that blocks right now i'm going to require from you your textbook which is farm management by Fan Shake. Then this is human resource management in farming. And then this is uh, same page 165 to 167. I need your textbook. Okay. I'm going to need your textbook. I'm going to need your pen and the paper together with the facilitation summary by Mr. Ngubo. Okay. What are we going to cover in terms of our module? Human resource management in farming. Aspects of human resource management, managing activity or uh, managing activities of human resource management, unique characteristics of farm workers, basic farming organogram. So what I need from you is to understand the human resource management in farming, is to also to know the activities for human resource management in farming, also to identify the unique characteristics of farm workers. They are unique, they are different. And then to draw the basic farming organogram, right? The same uh, topic, it is introduction to human resource. Now, human resource management in farming, that is our lesson three. Human resource management in farming, it's what? It involves personal administration, operational management of employees, and maintenance of good labor can you see this one we say it's involved personal administration so you need to administer these people do the administration it can be for the business operational management of employees there is an operational that is happening here remember we are dealing with human resource now, this operational, remember when I showed you on our uh, lesson one? Operational management of employees. These uh, employees need to be managed by you using those activities that I gave it to you, which is, I call it POIKI together with DDMCC and the maintenance of good labor. People must have a good labor practice at work so that everything will be smooth now what are the aspects in terms of farming now we call them pom i know others they call it it's a pa o m and lp but we're gonna call it pom personal administration operational management together with the maintenance of good labor so you maintain first of all it's your personal administration this one operational and maintenance so others, they normally call it administration, operational, and maintenance. Okay. It's involved personal administration, operation management of employees, maintenance of good labor. So in future, I will draw the line for you to tell you what is this involved or entails. Okay, let's move forward. The importance of the aims of human resource management in farming it is to offer a greater productivity we are looking at a productivity a greater one it offers efficient implementation remember implementation think about that word it offers efficient implementation of manpower what is manpower this is workforce it involves managing managing of employees in the farm you need to manage them remember you are the manager you need to manage the employees. You, you need productivity. You need to implement.
the main power that is required for the business. That's why I always call these are one are the main ones. See these three. Those are your main ones for the business. Greater productivity, the implementation of manpower, managing of employees. It also helps in motivate. These are also the additionals. It helps in motivating and training of farm workers. It helps in recruiting and selection of farm workers. So it means you've got five importance of human resource management in the business. Let's look at the activities. Remember those activities I mentioned last time? For a normal or just a common management. This one is now for farming only. We call them POIC. Planning, the same as the normal management. Organizing, it's the same as a, a common management. This is the one that is not there. Implement. And then you also need to control. So that one is proxy. There is no leading in this regard. If you can see, there is no leading. There is no staffing also. Because they're trying to cut it short. It got that limited or it differs. Because you cannot be a leader in this regard while you, people who are being, being employed are sitting down. But you need there. You need to be a leader sometimes. But this is not important. Staffing is not important because you will see when we're doing uh, sifting, uh, selection and recruitment, interviews, placing. You will see when we're dealing with that in other modules. Right. Planning, the way of deciding or setting of goals and objectives of the business. The way of giving duties is exactly the same as the normal management. The way of making sure Farming policies and procedures are implemented. If we are doing grapes, look at this one. This big farmer, there is a farmer here. These are the two employees. Now, what we need to do? See, there are grapes there. And they are okay. They need to go to the market. So, can you see? This particular individual, which is the farmer or the owner, is making sure that this is in the market. By controlling, he organized two chaps that are good. He's planning things. Can you see? He got his things already for the employees or other employees. Maybe they are just, uh, what you call, organizing, putting those crates for now. So, this is what is it at this particular time. So, for management, you need a greater productivity. There is a productivity. It's efficiency of employment. There is a manpower. It's going to conduct how many you need from here now. In managing employees in a farm, he needs to guide these two chaps along this way. Are this being put in a very nice or in a correct manner in terms of how are we going to deal with these very nice, uh, I can see that if there was a squirrel, it's going to say, it looks delicious. What about you? All right. So it's also help motivating and training the staff. They can see how it's being done. It's happening in recruiting and selection. It's going to recruit. I know in winter, it's a time for the ranges. Right, let's move on. Distinctive or unique characteristics of human resource in farming. It's, it's unique. It's unique. What makes it unique in terms of the employees? The way of making farm employees differ from those of normal employees. This is the way. You're making them differ. If you can see here, this is the farm. They are not coming from, uh, let's say, I'm, I'm in Newcastle at this point in time. They are not coming from Osizweni. They are right in Newcastle, right here in my farm. And these people, they always wake up in my farm doing the job. I'm the owner always looking at them. They are unique. They are not the same as the people taking taxes. There is no transport here. They are just around here. They are in my farm. Okay. The farmer and the employees, we will normally call employees or workers, have the continuous interaction between them. They always interact. Always. Not to say the manager is absent. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Where the manager? The manager has gone for meeting. <laughs> you won't find that. When I'm staying here, the manager is here. When he's going to go, he's going to report to the employees, go to the, to the gardens or go to, to the field and do something. I'm, I'll, I'll come back. Or just go to... Wherever you can go, then I'll come back. Because that's where the township or maybe the location or maybe some suburbs, but maybe that is the farm. So the farmer 
and the employees, they have a continuous interaction. They always see each other around here. All right? Full-time farm employees usually live on a farm. Yes, there is it. These are the houses. Maybe this one is for the farmer. There is for the farm workers. Or maybe around there. Who knows? Right? Full-time farm employees usually live on a farm, which leads to a farmer involved in their personal or social life in terms of their communities and families. You might find they're playing there. They are playing there to one of the, maybe the sports ground, small onion ground that is there. After work, around about five, around about six, social activities. The farm can go there and just watch it now. He becomes what is involved in personal and social life. Full-time employees cannot be stored and be used only at a certain circumstances or at a certain times of the year. Remember these people are here. You can't bang them. There are so many things that you can do here. So many. They can even just go to check. Is everything okay? That's why you'll find others that are going with their horses around here, checking here. Is there anything wrong? Others they just keep on walking because full-time employees cannot be stored. You cannot make them to just stay there and then say, no, don't move. Remember, this is your farm. The farm employees are, uh, are not physical, uh, physically, mechanically machines. Are not physically, are not physical, mechanical machine. So they are, these people are not machines. So when this Oki is tired, he's tired. He's not a machine. But with feelings, values, fears as well, right? Prejudice, aspirations, and feelings, and physical limitations. That's why we have to get this, this ganda ganda. See this truck. It can help to load this. You cannot expect people to carry this. People are not what? Are not physically, mechanically machines. Or physical, comma, mechanically machines. Right? The farm employees are influenced by factors outside the workplace and need not to, or needs to be handled appropriately to avoid conflicts. Remember these people. They can be affected. Social life that is happening here. They play football. Something goes wrong. The ankle is broken. And then you ask them to do all this, maybe run from here to chase the cows that are eating my stuff here. Yo, 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 yo. They are influenced by outside. Something that is social that is affecting them here. So please, you need to take care to avoid conflicts. Ask why there is a resistance. Remember, you are a leader, the manager, and everything. The farmer sometimes plays the role of a father, mediator, protector to employees which in nature cannot always be separated from the task of managing human resources. Remember this person is here. He's the owner, right, of this farm. But these two, if they can have a problem, they can fight each other. If they fight each other, this one is an owner. Can be what? Can be a father to them. No, no, listen here, listen here, good people. Can be a mediator. Can protect. This one, if you can throw this, uh, it can be a watermelon, very hard. This one can get injured. And this one must go to say, I'm going to take you to hospital because of the activities that is there. Now, let's look at them. The farmer and the employees, continuous interaction. Full-time employees, they do what? The farmer, it's always what? They live in the farm. The farmer, for the full-time employees, you cannot store them. People who are what? Are not mechanical machines, Right? So they've got feelings and values, right? And then some things that can affect them as well. They have some influences or factors outside the workplace when they are playing there or whenever they're trying to do this work, they have some little bit of catching off maybe with that watermelon and then he hit this, okay, he's got a headache, right? You need to avoid those conflicts, right? As a farmer, you must know that. Also, you will act within this group, as a father, as a mediator, as a protector. So that's what makes human resource management in farming differ from the other one. That's why they call it, they've got unique characteristics. If you can see this one, you'll never see your manager with you. If they say, go to the kitchen, you won't see a manager going with you to cook. He wants you to cook, and then he'll, he'll tell you, I'm going to check our production. Right? There is it. Uh, human resource activities, we call them POIC. 
the human resource management in terms of the main three, the importance, greater productivity, implementation of manpower, managing employees. You just think about this picture. One, greater productivity. You think about the grapes, greater productivity. Two, implementation. They need to implement the manpower that's going to do this job. And then managing employees that they're not eating. They might find sitting down eating one way, like a squirrel, and then getting confused with the grapes. Right? Human resource management, it's involved what? The big three. Which one is a big three? It's POM. Others, they call it AOM, which is administration, operational, and maintenance. Okay? As Mr. Ngubo, as I mentioned at the beginning, this is our module one, which is introduction to human resource and we are coming to an end for our uh, lessons we've got lesson one lesson two lesson three i would like to thank you and then i will see you when we're doing resource management uh, human resource uh, provisions where we are going to check the other aspects we've got four aspects that we need to cover there on our lesson one on module two just enjoy the rest of the day. As Mr. Ngo from ITB, I thank you very much.